Governor Newsom says counties should start getting a three week notice on when the next batch of vaccines will arrive, and that will allow them to schedule more appointments. As our Jennifer De La Cruz explains, the heads up can't come soon enough. A limited supply of vaccines is a problem plaguing every state in the country. San Diego County says they get very little notice on when their next batch of shots will arrive, and that's why residents have been struggling to make appointments. But that's expected to change. President Biden vowing to give states more notice on how many shots are coming their way. We have a three-week window of visibility on vaccinations. That's what the Biden administration is providing the state. That's what we are in turn providing to the counties. Newsom added they'll have more specifics on how that process will work once they formalize vaccination contracts with Kaiser and Blue Shield next week. Until then, residents like 66-year-old Tori Norton are desperately trying to schedule appointments. I feel myself getting anxious, like going onto that website three, four times a day, are they going to release them? The only days that are calendared for any available appointments are today and tomorrow. She and her husband received their first dose at the South Bay Superstation on January 25th, where she says they got conflicting information on what to do next. This one has been nothing but confusion, so I don't know if I need my dose on February 18th, like the nurse said or if it's February 22nd, like the back of my COVID vaccination record card says. Sharp Healthcare tells ABC 10 News they received a large shipment of doses this week and are now opening appointment slots for the weekend. They say they don't make appointments available until they physically have the doses in hand to avoid canceling on patients. Jennifer Della Cruz, ABC 10 News. We know there are a lot of questions and different experiences with the vaccine rollout. Our ABC 10 News in-depth team is committed to tracking down answers and sharing your stories. Just send us an email to tips at 10news.com.